And the degree that will be conferred upon you in a moment not only marks your graduation from this school, it marks your graduation to, well, to many of you. But the thing I'd like to suggest is that it marks your graduation to citizenship, full citizenship. And as a newly graduated citizen, I would like to ask you to reflect on the duties and responsibilities that come with that. As citizens, we come together through our governments. That's how we talk amongst ourselves. And it has become accepted wisdom these past few years that government represents the worst of us. I want you to consider that the opposite might be true. That rather than our worst selves, we have been our best selves and done our best work when we have come together. There's so many things we have done well together, things of which we can be proud. The way we look after those of us who are ill or too old to look after themselves, or those who might harm themselves or others. The way we move the mail around, the way we serve and protect. All of these things and so many more are a result of a saying, we're all in this together. Now I know, like you, I read the newspapers, I'm privy to the inefficiencies, large and small, all the blunders and the missteps. But is efficiency the art yard stick, stick by which we will measure our lives? I'm a writer. I write and I rewrite and I rewrite again. Draft one, two, and then draft three. And then I show my best effort to my editor, and inevitably she asks me to write it over. And that's the best of times. Surely after all the practice I have had, surely after all these years, the first draft, the most efficient draft, should be good enough. Never was and never will be. And so it is with every important thing I do. In fact, I think my best work is inefficiently done. I don't want to celebrate inefficiency, but I'm an inefficient writer. I'm an inefficient cook. I don't know how many more eggplants I have to buy before I learn the sorry lesson that they're just going to rot in my fridge. <laughs> I'm an inefficient lover. How many times do I have to write the same letter over and over again? But I do. It's not what I'm saying. I just don't want us to throw out the baby with the bathwater. As citizens, we have to remember how inefficient we all are. How hard it is to get four friends to agree on one movie. How difficult it is to organize a family reunion. How complicated it can be to plan a wedding. Imagine what it's like getting 33 million people marching in the same direction. But we have and we do. We stop on the red, we go on the green. And if we disagree with our neighbor, or if our neighbor disagrees with us, we don't hack each other to death anymore. We talk about it in person or in court. <laughs> we have institutions where we work things out. And we come to this happy state because people like you, thoughtful people like you, have made the effort to seek the deepening gift of education. And once educated, come to the understanding that coming together is better than staying apart. So here we get to the number. It costs money to do that. So we all agree to throw some money into the kid. We pay our taxes. And the, there are scoundrels, sure enough. There are scoundrels and wastrels and self-serving fools who will betray our trust and whose misbehavior might make us wonder if we should misbehave too. It behooves us to remember the rascals usually get their due. What I want to say to you today is this. It's now your turn to contribute. And the way you will do that is through your taxes, 
and through your votes, you're a citizen. You have no choice. Your choice is how you will accept the responsibility of citizenship. What I'm asking is just this. Do it joyfully. Spread optimism rather than cynicism. Act with the understanding that we are all in this together. But when we act together, we can keep the wolf from the door. Throw your piece of the pie back into the pot, knowing you get much more back in return. It is an honor to be a citizen of this rich land.